This is the new Nokia 7 Plus. In 1956, late Dr. Lester James Pierce entered and made his mark in national cinema by directing the globally acclaimed film Ray Carver and he never looked back. Revolutionising the then Sri Lankan film industry which was influenced by South Indian cinema, he flavoured it with the Western filmmaking and his own inspirations. The late veteran director's contributions to cinema earned him several local and international awards, including the title Sri Lanka Abhimanya, the highest honour for a civilian in Sri Lanka. He passed away on Sunday at the age of 99 while receiving treatment at a private hospital in Colombo. Renowned as the father of Sri Lankan cinema, the body of late Dr. Lester James Pieris is currently resting at his residence along the Lester James Pieris Mavata in Colombo 5. Iconic film director and producer Dr. Lester James Pieris made sure Sri Lankan cinema was recognized globally. His contribution to the nation is the reason why we are seeing hundreds of people gathering at his residence to pay their final respects. Dr. Pieris's funeral will be held tomorrow at the Independence Square under state patronage. First at nine witness that many, including religious leaders, politicians and artists came to pay their final respects to the late veteran film director. He respected everyone and everyone respected him. He was a complete man. While we are sad, we must also celebrate his life. He did utmost uh, for this country, not only with Sri Lankan. He demonstrated that Asia has a cinema. He is leaving us, giving us huge, insightful cultural heritage with us. It remains long-lasting. Lester James Pieris not only gave a new life to Sinhala cinema, but also he gave a new message through cinema to the people of the country and at large to the world. At a time we are... We were copying Indian films. We were imitating what Indian actress was doing. He, with his vision, he identified the particular way and built up the local cinema. Today, undoubtedly, all the films which he have edited, all the films which he have produced, are the best in Sri Lanka in artistic way and also in the commercial way. At this moment, at a time where we are in a crisis, not having directors in calibre of Dr. Lester James Pieris is a very serious problem in Sri Lanka. The amount of books he referred and the advice he gave, read enough about cinema. See each and every film which you come across, whether it is good or bad. Don't listen to the critics because for you to learn what is good, you must also see what is bad. This is the gospel advice he gave us. He was such a humble and he was a very jovial person. He, he had such a good memory. Though he was 99, I wished he, he lived up to 100, but I think he lived his life as a real thorough gentleman. Then the films, especially the international award-winning films starting from Ray Carver, uh, they all should be preserved. And that's, that's the biggest thing that uh, we could do for Dr. Pieris because that was his dream. The remains of the late film director will be brought to the Independence Square tomorrow where the public will have the chance to pay their last respects with the final rites to be performed at 4pm.